An inauguration is one of the most uh, security-driven events you have in the country. There are levels of security for different kinds of public events, and the highest level is a national special security event. So when you have an event like an inauguration in the Capitol area, you're dealing with not only the District of Columbia itself, but because the um, number of people coming is so great, you're looking at the surrounding regions, and that means two states and a number of counties, because it's likely people will be staying outside of the district. There'll certainly be traffic flow in and out, and the impact of an event in the district or in a surrounding county will be felt throughout the region. The good news is that people in this region are accustomed to working together. I would say the two concerns are, first of all, that we're living in a world of terrorism. And we dealt with that, obviously, in prior inaugurations, but this is only the second one where there's been a handoff from one administration to another. Uh, we're dealing with a set of tactics that have emerged in the last couple of years that may create multiple small events, none of which would be a 9-11, but they could be distracted and they could cause some loss of life or injury. And then, uh, you know, apart from that, there is just the emotional energy of the inauguration. There were some harsh things that were said on both sides. There are some feelings that are probably a little bit raw. There are going to be demonstrations, including people coming in for a march the next day. So you're bringing a lot of people together in a relatively confined place, and that puts a lot of pressure on the authorities to manage the traffic. I think you need to expect there's going to be a lot of traffic. You will probably not be able to drive anywhere close to where <clears throat> the actual main events are. Uh, so you'll be using public transportation or walking. Um, if you have a medical issue and you, you think something might happen, you might be advised to stay home because, again, there'll be medical facilities available, but there'll be a lot of people around. And the uh, availability of a facility and the access may be a little bit compromised. So. Uh, you know, this is something that you ought to expect is going to require a certain amount of physical robustness and a lot of patience.